It's Ritzy Cupcake. Hey everyone, it's Ritzy Cupcake here and it's a brand new day in Singapore. Today we're going to go to Orchard Road and see the Christmas displays. If you've been enjoying my adventures so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go check it all out. In we are in Japanese Zen Japanese, Japanese restaurant and all the food that I'm showing you right now is vegetarian. Surprising, right? Yeah, pretty cool. I guess it's all gonna be fake meat and stuff. We'll find out soon. Mommy's got some vegetarian fried. How is it, Mum? Huh? What does it taste like? It tastes like fish. Wow, that's amazing. It looks really good and it smells amazing. So I wanted one of everything, so I got tempura, sushi, udon. I'm full from lunch and we're at Orchard Road and going to head into the Lucky Plaza. Last time I came to Orchard Road, I just saw the like big brand shops from outside and left. I was like, oh wow, this place is crazy. Then my friend told me that I can get stuff at Lucky Plaza for hell cheap. So we're here today and this place is huge. Just more McDonald's and then it's like, that's just the ice cream store. And drinks. Found what I was looking for. I came to this plaza to get a microphone. The microphone was cool, but the one that I wanted to get for thirty-five dollars that my friend has, it's not that loud. And then they were trying to sell me a fifty-nine dollar one, which was a bit louder. But I'm like, maybe I should just get a professional one instead. It looks cool, but uh, yeah, this mall has like seven floors. It is huge. We're gonna go check out some other shops now. I was wondering why that mall smelled like hair so much and then when we went up to the top floor, it was full of hairdressers. So my nose was accurate. Glowing runway. love how they do that. I mean it's so bright and colourful and fun and exciting. Like we don't have anything really like that back home so at least not to this extent. Um, but I feel like the display 
flies were a bit better the year before compared to this current trip. And let me know in the comments what you think. We got some pizza, kasha, pasta, and unlimited drinks for like $20. Pretty good. I've eaten here before in Japan, so I knew that it was affordable. So I was like, yes, we'll go here. So we'll go it. It's raining, so we're gonna catch a taxi and go to the Fountain of Wealth. You can't go now from here. You have to go into the building and get to the basement. Basement. Okay. Basement. You can't okay. cross here. Please, uh, don't do that. Uh, it's risky. Ah, okay. So, this is a big fountain. There's no light now. Don't worry. They will turn on the light later. About seven plus. Yeah. They will see light music coming out. Okay. Okay. This one tower two, tower two, tower three, tower four, eh? and that one is tower five. So uh -huh. it's a big round. And so I tell we are, circle. yeah, we are now right at the palm. The palm. palm. Okay, we are on the palm now. Can okay. you see that? Yeah. This is the fountain. Oh. So I'm going towards to the convention hall. I'll let you alight. You can walk. Take your time. Walk around, and then make sure you come back. Right. Try to find a way to go down there, there's a basement. You will ask the security or someone to let you how you get into the place there. Okay. It's, it's all in this building. You have an entrance to go in, don't worry. This is five. Oh, oh yeah, the buildings have numbers on Then five. to the small gate there. Then you try to look to the basement. When you reach the basement, you will try to go to the fountain first. We're in Suntec City now and we're gonna go look for the fountain of wealth. Taxi driver was so knowledgeable and informative. He should be a tour guide. And look, there's a Gudetama restaurant behind me. So you can sit here and eat some food while you look at the fountain. Or you can walk through and experience it here. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my god! This is the largest fountain in Asia. It's gorgeous. If you walk around, you can become a millionaire or something. great day of sightseeing. The Fountain of Wealth was awesome. It was really fun getting to walk around and look at it actually um, up close and personal. We're going to Sentosa tomorrow so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.